Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to transform pictures like this into draw dropping pictures like this. You can use for your posters or for your photo manipulations. Right? So without having to waste much time, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my pictures I'm going to be using. And of course, when you when you open a picture in Photoshop, most times it comes with a locked um, layer like this. So I'm going to convert it to smart object. The next thing I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to camera raw, right? So under camera raw is where the action is going to take place. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down my highlight like this. Please make sure you follow my settings actually achieve the same result like I got so I'm going to um, bring in my contrast and also my shadows to yeah and also don't forget that um, the pictures that I use is in description of this video so just click on the link to get the pictures that I used also so for clarity I'm going to do 21 and um, let's see so I'm going to go to curves and make sure this is selected first so you have this controls here so i'm going to turn on turn um, up the highlights all the way to 100 and also reduce the lights like this and um that sums it all so when i'm done i'll click ok like this right you can see um, uh, the transformation from where we were and where we are currently right so i'm going to duplicate this layer ctrl j and convert this to a smart object this is the second phase of this effect so going over to filter camera raw same way we started but this time i'm going to do things differently I'm going to go over to the basics and um, I'm going to turn down the texture all the way to you can do minus 99 and um, my clarity I'm going to bump it all up to okay let me leave it at 49 I think I like the result in 49 and um, I'm going to increase the A's. 25 like this and when I'm done I'm just going to click OK good so you can see now I have this effect now I don't want it on the entire image right so I'm just going to create a mask with the same layer create a mask and invert the mask so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my brush and reveal on areas that I want it to be on Make sure your foreground color is set to white and your brush is soft round, right? So gently, I'm just going to rub it in on areas that I want. I'm going to put my flow up to 100. So I'm going to rub it in on these areas like this. And this if you need to reduce your brush size please do that and um, so that you can be able to cover um, areas that are delicate right so I'm going to continue you can see how much change this is and I said again if you need to reduce your brush size you can reduce your brush size just so you can get through to the delicate areas so I'm just going to take this all the way up here and um, apply the effects on those areas also like this I 
okay so when you are done go over to uh, right click still on the same layer right still on the same layer right the same layer so you're gonna right click and select blending options so under blending options we're going to work in on this underlying layer so hold down your alt key while you break this up if you don't hold out the alt key it's not going to break up so and click ok All right so this is the before and this is the after next i'm going to do adjustment layer and i'm going to use curves so i'm going to bring in this white part I'm gonna drag it all the way in like this make sure you're not overdoing it right just so you get um, those highlights inside there the same thing right click click on blending option and um, this time let me push this here and the line layer I'm going to push it all the way until you can see that curve effect on a minute region on our skin just like this right make sure you are creative with this and i'm going to break this up hold down the alt key while you divide this and when you are done just click ok like this you can see the huge difference this has made right i'm going to invert the mask because i don't want it on the entire skin and i'm going to use my brush gently add the effects just like this right um that's too much ctrl z I'm going to just just a little bit um, good somewhere along this line in here in the hair just try and make sure you're creative with this and you're not overdoing it good so you can also take your time and um, be detailed about it most times when i create um, my posters or my compositions this is what i do next i'm going to do is adjustment layer here on saturation click on colorize right um i'm going to move my slider before i move my slider uh, okay I want to work with the reds right so i'm going to move my saturation up onto 60. let's see okay let me work with 68 i'm going to change my blend mode to overlay and i'm going to use my opacity you can see how much difference that has made and also my fill too so this is before and after right so because it's a non-destructive layer you can also come back to it and make changes you can even change the hue use a green you can see how much difference the green is making All right so you can use anyone that works best for you so i'll leave mine at this and um, you can see how well this has turned out to be All right so let's go to the second example let me use a different image right this time i'm going to use this nice looking model right convert to smart object first that's the first thing you do and um, you can see just take a look at it this is how it was before so let's uh, get started filter and um, camera raw like this and um, okay so let's uh, just like we did to the previous image we might be extreme here because this skin is a black skin so it's quite different when you're working on a black skin and a white skin when you're working on a black um, skin you have to go all the way in right so i'm just um going to increase my contrast 21 then also my shadows plus 45 my texture 39 I'm beginning to see changes and also clarity 
I'm going to bump it all the way up. And for the first part, like this, I think. Um, Let me close up the basics. Um, so, I'll make sure I'm selecting this one. And my highlights, I'm going to bump it all up to 100. Like this. And I'm going to reduce the lights. Just like this. Okay. And click OK. When you are done, good. So, this is what you get out of it. You can see how detailed the skin is actually at this point, right? So, the next thing I would like to do is duplicate this and convert it to smart object. Head over to filter, camera roll like this. And um, uh, let me close this up. This time we're starting with um, details, noise reduction, all up to 100. Like this. And um, under basics. Texture minus 100. I'm going to increase. Okay, let me do lens 3. Good. And for clarity, I'm going to bump it all up to 46, 47. Okay, that's too extreme. Okay, I think I like extreme. So I'm going to do extreme. So I'm going to do 48 like this. You can see how much that has contributed to the progress of making this picture pop. So I'm going to go to the haze also. I'm going to use a plus 29. It's plus 29, cool. Okay, I'm the plus a plus 26. And I'm going to click OK like this. Voila perfect right so the same thing i did in the other uh for the other image i'm going to right click and um, click on blending option of course invert the mask first i'm going to reveal those things that i did on just the skin alone I'm not going to let it affect the hair so my brush selected and my flow set to 100 I'm just going to gently um, apply the effects here like this and all the way all through Just making sure I focus more on the skin regions and um, okay I'm um, gonna do a little bit here and um, okay so I've covered the important areas that I need to cover um, I applied it here, yeah, also. So I'm going to right click, click on blending option. And on the line uh, layer, let me put this out of the way. Hold down your Alt key to break this up like this see how much difference that makes right so I'm gonna leave my somewhere here 
and so that the effect actually blends well right so this is before and after right so next thing i'm going to do is adjustment layer click on curves right so under curves i'm going to move this white part to this point here Now this for me is one of uh, like the interesting parts all right so when i do this i'm going to right click click on blend option of course it gets better um let me move this out of the way so for the underlying layer hold down the just drag do not break first drag until you see those areas like these areas right you can now break it up holding down the alt key like this when you've got your desired effect you can click ok invert the mask Control i to invert the mask and make sure your foreground color is set to white then you can paint on this that's a mistake so you can paint on these areas where you want your arts your highlights to be I'm going to go on and um, paint in those highlights. Now I'm going to apply that to the hair, but I'm going to reduce the flow, right? So it's not too much on the hair. So I'm just going to go over like this and um, create it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And careful so you don't apply it um, in areas where you're not supposed to apply them okay you can see how much different this image looks so the next thing I'm going to do is go to hue and saturation wait click on colorize bump your saturation all the way up and make sure you are using you can use any color of your choice bottom line is you like the desired um, outcome at the end so I'm going to use the pasty like this and also the fill value like this out so you see what I'm doing clearly so you can see the difference so this is how you can convert those boring pictures to images that pop and um, for your posters and for your photo manipulations so if you like this video and it has helped you a lot please kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notification so you miss any videos I'll be dropping after this time out I'll see you guys with over 1,000 premium fonts, over 100 high-quality PSD flyer templates, over 700 icons, over 3,000 premium stock photos, 3,000-plus high-resolution backgrounds, 1,000-plus 3D and PNG assets, editable PSD templates, and lots more. If you're a creative designer, UI, UX, or web designer, the Smart Designer's graphics assets will make your life much more easier.